What's up world, my name is Trey. We got the ZX4RR finally in the garage at home here. You see my Ninja 400, uh, my race bike back there in the background. And everyone's asking me questions about this. How does it ride? How is the quick shifter? What does the power feel like? Is it really down on power like they say? So I wanna get out there and get some riding time in, get some seat time on this thing so I can answer all those questions. Uh, but before we do that, we got a couple of quick installs we're gonna do. You know I gotta start off getting uh, some tech, tech spec tank grips on there. I put this on all of my bikes. And then just your normal basics. I got a radiator guard here I'm gonna install. Uh, tail tidy there that we can throw on the back to get rid of all that nonsense back behind me. And then just some little swing arm spools so we can start throwing it on the rear stand as well. Then I'll go over the bike. I just like to go over my bikes. I'm pretty big about maintenance. So I'll go over everything, make sure it's all to spec. I'm sure it is. Uh, I got this bike from Mainland Cycle Centers down in Lamarck, Texas, and I know they did a great job. I just have this personal habit where I have to go over the bike, so fluids, bolts, things like that. Just make sure it's all good, and then we can go get some seat time in. As you can see, the swing arm sticks out farther than uh, our little slot that's welded on there for our spools to attach to. So I like to have one that has a spacer. Let's see if I just it sticks it out a little bit before where the spool actually latches on there. All right, from here we're gonna go ahead and install our tail tidy, and I'm not even gonna lie to you, I am using some cheap stuff from China for these little parts. These spools, the tail tidy. And radiator guard is just uh, parts that honestly this bike's not going to be street ridden a lot. It's, it's going to be really on home at the track and then eventually become a race bike. So these are kind of temporary and as far as radiator guards I feel like that's sufficient. Spools, even a good quality spool, they break off if you crash anyway. So uh, I just have China parts here, no shame in my game for now. And for the rest of the bike we're going to be buying high, high quality parts for sure. So. Uh, rear fender, we're going to start by putting our key in to release our seat at the top. And so it'll pull up in front here and you can just slide it forward to remove that. And I got to say, like the quality of everything on this bike really impresses me. It really seems like high quality. Um, this is the only Kawasaki I've had that's made in Thailand. All of my others have been made in Japan, but this is the best quality of any of the Kawasaki's I've had. I think this is like my sixth one. This is the fifth bike in the garage right now. We got a Yamaha over there, but really good build quality. From here, what we're gonna do is, there's a little pull string here to release your seat, just like um, something like the Ninja 400 had. We're just gonna pull that up, throw that out of the way, and same thing here. Like Everything is just organized really well. Battery and all your fuses, very clean setup, easily accessible and mounted well in there. And then from here, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this black plastic trim so I have better access to uh, the cords that I need for those blinkers and uh, our license plate light. From here, hopefully you can see this on camera, but there's gonna be four bolts in here that are holding on our uh, fender, our rear fender with the license plate bracket. And then we see our wires that are gonna be for the rear blinkers and also the license plate light. So it's not gonna be this top wire. This one is what's running directly to the tail light. Um, it's gonna be below that, you'll see a few other wires. Usually you have one that's gray, one that's black. Those are gonna be your two blinkers. In this case, we have a white one. I'm just gonna unplug it here. There's an in. And then we have another one that is in blue and another one that is in black. So I know this is probably hard to see on camera there. I'll just speed this up most likely. So 
so it's gonna be decent here. So here we go, here are the three wires you're gonna to wanna to disconnect. And then we're just gonna remove these four bolts to pull off that fender eliminator. Well, in here, I'm also gonna remove this um, handle that they had that's on the rear seat. On my other bikes, it's really like pressed clean on that rear uh, passenger seat, and it does, and it looks fine. And I kind of use it to move the bike around the garage sometimes, but this one, it really flares out. Uh, I don't like how it looks at all, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that while we're here as well. These bolts here are gonna be five millimeter. They are on there pretty snug. So there we go, all four are out. And now we can just drop this down. Carefully pull these wires through, and there we have it. The entire backing. I'm gonna reuse these on my tail tidy, and otherwise we're gonna get rid of this junk. It's really heavy too. This is this is not light. The bottom of this is all metal. Um, this has a lot of weight on it. And we have two bolts that are holding in this handle that I wanted to remove. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those. These are gonna be. Looks like, yep, 10 mil. And there's nothing else that these are holding on, so we can get rid of these bolts too. Those are just bolted directly into the frame. There's a... There we go. Pulled the hardware off of the OEM fender and put it here on my tail tidy so I'm going to reuse these same back and they're going to be really long now that we have such a short tail tidy so I'm going to end up wrapping those up in here in a minute and then I have my kit did come with hardware as well too. Our license plate light and in the white and then we will have our black and blue here on our turn signals do a quick test our license plate light is on left all right both work out all right i was trying to get that radiator guard on without stripping everything i like to put these guards on my bike really before i ride them I don't want to have a bad day out there. I've seen many, many guards bust. And, uh, I mean, not guards, but radiators bust. And I couldn't do it, so I'm going to try to pull just this side here off. Just this kind of portion. I think I can leave all this top part still on. Uh, so we'll get to see a little bit of what she looks like naked. We'll get to see underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and start stripping it down. Uh, I think that there's some push pins here. One, two uh, push pins on kind of this under tray in front up here. Uh, we'll probably take off that whole entire under tray and then some larger push pins that lock in the belly pan together and that lock um, the side in here. Now, I think we just need to take out one bolt on this side and then one bolt that's kind of hidden right in here near where your frame slider would go, which is one of the parts we're going to be ordering next. So let's get to it. Push pin. This is a four millimeter bolt here. Which is a little black bolt there. Five mil down here. larger one here on this spot. This is the one you need to lift up. And now we 
see this tray is loose and this is what I needed to see is because right under here there's another four millimeter outlet and that's what's gonna free this up and that's what we needed to gain access to. So I'll finish off with the belly pan fairings. Probably just leave that hanging like that. I think I could do it with just one side here. Other than this four millimeter here. that pops into the rubber grommet there that's what was holding it. Now I'll see if I can disconnect our blinker here and there we go we have our whole side fairing. This is the cool one with the double R on it and so if we want to see inside a bit this is a couple of pieces all connected. You have your bottom green belly pan here and then there's a plastic black piece that goes in between where these have screws holding those together and then our top uh, black fairing with our blinker inside of it. Put that to the side. And then now we get to see it naked a little bit. So what do we see? The bike looks really nice. I, I really think the manufacturing looks cleaner and higher quality than my other bikes. Okay, so we're putting on this uh, radiator guard here. So what I'm trying to get access to is right behind the radiator cap there. This is gonna be an eight millimeter bolt here on the coolant reservoir. That's gonna give me the play to reach what I need to reach here. Perfect. So yeah, the radiator guard is on now. The couple of top bolts, you see one up in there. That one's a little tough. You can reach it without removing the right fairing, but the top left one is right behind that coolant um, reservoir and it is very hard to reach. So. Easiest if you just remove this, you saw how I did it. Some push pins and a couple of bolts and that'll get it done. And then one bolt in the rear of the belly, one bolt in the side here by the engine mount, and then one bolt that's gonna be in the nose under the headlight in front. You can pop these two in first, and then I'll pop this one in and we'll start working on some of those bolts. Let me, before I forget, let me reconnect my blinker here. with that four mil bolt up here. And there's a black hole and a green hole. You're gonna go into the black hole. The green hole is gonna be where the push pin comes through. There we go. That'll do it for the first day. First day in the garage, time to go ride it. And this weekend, we'll be riding this one. We got some races this weekend. Got five races this weekend. So let's get some seat time. All right, so after one day in the garage, here we have our radiator guard on. We've got some tech spec tank grips on there. So we've kind of covered up some of this KRT trim. Uh, decals that's fine with me I'm not a huge fan of those anyways we removed our handlebar from the seat and we got rid of our rear fender so now we have a tail tidy on there much cleaner and sleeker looking we also put some spools on the bike really cleaned up the tail tail of the bike a lot 
and then here are our tech spec tank grips.